You, what, you, do, do, who, you don't know who Brian Kilray is? Oh, buddy, he's like one of the best junior hockey coaches of all time. That's like CAHL level. Do you ever like like? Do you play? You, were you like triple A? I wasn't good. No. <laughs> can you skate? Yeah, I can skate, but that, that's what I enjoy the most, though. I like skating. Okay. Okay. House league. <laughs> yeah, I, I, mean, I mean, me too. I was team black, team blue, <laughs> team green. For Newmarket, Aurora. 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 Yeah. Fair enough. Guys, we're here with the one and the only Mr. Stephen Marr. Um, here before VNL 2023 in Ottawa. Fourth year back in Ottawa. It's kind of nice to have that consistency. It's kind of nice to have, like, you know, almost like first week you're going to be playing in Ottawa close to home. See, your, see the fam, see the parents. Yeah, like the TD, TD Arena is just, it's just an amazing setup to actually house people. And generally, all things considered with VNL, it's. It's essentially probably one of the best places, best hotels and setup that I've played in, like in a total, like total encompassing thing. Um, and I think, and I know a lot of guys who have definitely played here over the years are pretty appreciative of all the work that goes in on that half. Yeah, I've I've, I've heard from like teams who have come back who have been, you know, like oh yeah, we love playing here. Like we, yeah. we it's been good crowds. We're hearing already that Saturday night against the States might already be sold out. Yeah, I have, I have a couple different friends who have told me they're going to be here for those games. So uh, I think that I think that or Friday night is probably the most popular game. So I don't I don't think too much about that because I'm pretty much day by day right now. But yeah, it'll be it'll be a good weekend for sure. So day by day, wrapping up. I guess what is a, an a terribly short preseason leading up to the VNL. Uh, Thomas is telling me that he's only been here for about ten days or so. Yeah, um, it's yeah it, it hasn't even been two weeks. You've only been around for two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. So it, and it was a long season for you. First and foremost, congrats on a, a, a massive season in Monza. Thanks. Your best as a pro so far. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. stats. At the end of the year, so yeah. big things happen in Monza. But now we look forward to the team season. Yeah. We don't need to talk about last year. Last year was last year. Yep. But it seems like the vibe around the team, from what I've experienced in the past few days, is is really positive. Yeah. Uh, new, like a new year, new outlook. Yeah, I think a lot of the guys are. I think there's a lot because last year, like just to touch on it briefly, like last year had a lot of moving pieces. Who a lot of guys who were their first time in competitions like this, and I think everybody is coming back with a year's more of experience. And I think a lot of the nerves or or just the level change isn't as much of a factor, and it's more about what we can do with what we have as opposed to kind of just being like, oh, this is all so fresh and so new, and it's tough to think through. So uh, we're playing pretty simple and just trying to do simple things well. And I think that's, it's pretty easy to ask that of everybody. Like, don't move on defense. Like, it's so simple, but so difficult. But at the same point, it's like, very simple to ask someone, don't move. And if you're doing that, you're doing well. And it's, and I think there's a little bit easier environment um, with that as well. So, yeah. A lot of positive things happening. We saw that series against Brazil uh, over er, er, later last week. You got to pick up in a win and a loss. But uh, does that kind of lift your guys' spirits, put some wind in the sails that you guys are running with? Like even in the loss, there was still some some bright spots and there was still some good fight in that match. You know, you guys are running with one of the traditional top teams in the world uh, like that. Does that that give you guys a lot of confidence heading into this week? Uh, I definitely feel like I think I was pretty impressed with how we played, and I was I wasn't necessarily expecting to three one Brazil the first night, so that was that was great. Um, I also definitely I'm just appreciating good volleyball. So had we lost both of those games and we played great volleyball, I would be pretty. I'd feel pretty much the exact same. Um, it's always nice to win, but like those winning a preseason match doesn't really mean that much in the grand scale of things. And our focus has definitely been on this Cuba game. Um, but for me, it's definitely just encouraging to see like good high level volleyball and be able to like, that is pretty much similar to level of practice and that's being able to be repeated. So it's not like just one and done, which is great. And that makes me feel pretty confident moving forward. Yeah, I have to say myself that after seeing you guys play on Thursday, Friday, uh, feeling pretty confident, you know, and that that this I'm I'm excited to see kind of what happens and, and what can grow over the next little bit because there's some new parts, new 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 guys in there, yeah. some fresh faces, and I like uh, saying that a lot. <laughs> I feel like fresh faces and new faces is being. Hey, we're we're we're, we're in a hockey.
like hallway yeah. here. We got Bi Brian Kilray right beside us. Like we got to throw out some some just straight up Letter Kenny. Yeah. You know. Fair enough. Some some Letter Kenny's just like stereotypical hockey. I feel like it's always like, yeah, hey, we got some new faces. Three years later, we got some new faces, and it's like, yeah, like I, it, it's kind of fun because I've known all, I've seen a lot of these guys as they were younger, and it's cool to kind of see them grow up and come back from year after year, and also kind of berate them a little bit with jokes and kind of see them stand up for themselves. It's nice. It's different. It's, it's fun to watch you go from being like the young guy you know when 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 and then now you're you're one of the older guys on on the roster and and, and one of the veterans i mean after nick it's yeah. it's it and jay jay's jay's got to be the old man on the roster yeah. now yeah. then nick then then you're up there yeah. you you and danny yeah yeah burks nick oh yeah burks, burks too nick uh jay Danny and Slater are both older than me. So I actually was counting it out. I was like, I'm actually not that old. But just in years of like experience, I, I do feel like um, I feel like there's a decent amount that to, to share, especially just within my position um, and kind of with what I was able to take from Monza this year with my teammates there. I feel like there's a lot that I'm able to, to kind of try and share, but um, I definitely don't feel like I'm trying to take on too much in doing so. It's just little things. And I feel like I've kind of reached more of where Perrin was uh, when he had kind of taken me under his wing. And it's, that's a pretty nice feeling yeah. just to give a couple of words and, and let people do what they're going to do. Having a guy like Gord Perrin, you know, be be your predecessor and, and bring you in, that's massive because he was one of the, the instrumental people on, on creating that culture within Team Canada Men's Volleyball. Yeah, yeah. It's also kind of funny because I find myself saying some things that he said to me. And, uh oh. And it's strange, but it's strange because it's like you can't really give those lessons without people just getting the experience to understand. But, and I, I, some of the questions that I had and things that were difficult for me and he would share with me. I didn't really understand how you could be so calm, cool, and collected in tough moments, but then it just you get older and it's it's a little easier. We saw Gord last year. Is he going to make an appearance this year in the stands? Come cheer you on? Uh, I'm not sure. I was chatting with him the other day. Uh, I don't think so, personally, but um, I think because he was just getting back from Russia. He had a pretty long season in Russia, so I think he's going to be out there, but who knows? Might see him before long. Looking forward to tomorrow. You said you're getting just get. Now we're getting ready for Cuba. Haven't seen Cuba in a little bit. Not since the uh, the qualifiers back in uh, back in before the pandemic. That, yeah. that seems like an, ages ago. Yeah. Now, obviously, this is a physical team. Yeah. They're missing some of their middles, but they're still they've got bangers on the on the outside. You yeah. you you know them well. What do you guys got to do to kind of get ready for Cuba and and start the VNL off with a bang uh, and kind of oppose what we did last what happened last summer? Um. I think, well, I played a lot against a lot of the guys this year in, in level, I guess, maybe more of a fresh perspective on their level. And they've all definitely improved drastically. Um, that being said, I think, I think serving, like men's game is serving and passing. So um, they're obviously very physical from the baseline. And we're going to have to kind of weather that and uh, then play quite intelligent. And I think that's kind of what we've been trying to work on for the past couple of weeks and we're going to see how that goes when it's pretty tense and under pressure and we'll see how well we can kind of stay together and and work as a unit out there which i think from my experience is especially this year in monza i think this that's the way to go so yeah that kind of echoes what we just talked to coach thomas samuel uh as well and that's kind of what he echoed what he was echoing and just you know working together and, and staying together as a, as a unit and that would ultimately help you know help you guys succeed yeah like i guess when you look at trento and you see like trento has always been historically one of the best teams and not necessarily by their scorecard by who's on their team but they always play in terms of professional teams they're always one of the best teams and i think that's that's one of the best things that you can see with Lorenz that he always created a very good system and team and they were able to beat teams with better better rosters um especially outlasting them so i think that's kind of what we're gonna have to do and kind of gonna be our um our method of playing and our method of madness so i think yeah i'm pretty i'm you know what that's not something traditionally i've been the best player at and i think last year i was able to adjust to a different system well this year i was able to change my system again how i was playing so i'm trying to be as flexible and open-minded as i can to to try and play like that for be what the team needs 
It's funny that you bring up Trento because we always say on the nine by nine that Trento and Zaxa are two of the best teams yeah. in volleyball and the way they work. And and now you've got you know a champion a Champions League head coach who just won a Champions League with Zaxa, Mr. Yeah. Samuel Vuo coming in. So it's it's fun to see those parallels. And you're right. I, I think that's the exact perfect type of ball that that the Maple Leafs need to play. Yeah, for sure. Like watching their Champions League semi, like that's that was. Was it the semi or quarter? Semi that they beat Perugia. Yeah, they, no, it's quarter they beat Trento. Yeah, that's oh, that's the quarter. Yeah, the quarter they beat Trento. Yeah, that was that for me was that was the series that was pretty incredible. Um, the Perugia one for me was a little less so, just because it was two distinct styles playing against each other. Whereas I think one of the things that get people don't love as much about the men's game is power errors and kind of like looking at that but I think they play a very nice flow volleyball and that was for me probably one of the favorite series that I watched and the 11 uh, sets that helps 11 yeah. sets yeah that's nuts well Stephen Marr student of the game who 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 would have known back when he was in a Aurora Storm not then but I started watching in 2013 I got to meet a couple of the guys that I first started watching Anastasi was coaching Poland 2012 yeah so when I remember that, that was in your 18 your 18 new year no, so it was my first year in MAC 2013. Oh. Anastasia was coaching Poland. That was when I first started watching World League. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That was that was pretty cool. I got to shake his hand this year when we oh, beat when you beat them. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I shook his hand when they beat us through zero, and then after it was it was. You, nice. you guys beat them at the end of the yeah, season. Yeah, but it was I got to meet him a bit earlier, so it wasn't. It's not as cool as it sounds. <laughs> Losing three zero, I'd just be like, ah, oh, hey. Thanks. <laughs> You're my hero. Fuck. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mar. Always a pleasure. Best yeah. of luck tomorrow. Thanks. Ciao, we'll be cheering for you. Hey, mate. Oh, no. He'll be cheering for you. I'll be cheering for you.